We're freaking out a little bit. So apparently this is what Friday nights are now. Now nobody can tell us when we can have power and when we can't. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. We're freaking out a little bit. We just bought our solar system, our solar power system. We didn't buy the solar system. We bought a solar power system and we're over budget by like $2,000. <laughs> And I'm freaking out. We spent about $6,000 on our solar power system for the bus. We deliberated and we, we researched and we studied and we looked at different companies. We looked at packages. We looked at piecing it together. All of these things. All There's so much different advice out there. There's so many experts. There's so many companies, blah, 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 blah. We found a company out of Bend, Oregon called AM Solar that we just really trusted and uh, we knew we wanted a good system. We w knew we wanted things that will last and things that will give us the power that we want and be efficient. And in a lot of these cheaper systems and components and stuff, you can lose a lot of power it just in the transfer of power from the panels to the system, and blah, blah, blah. There's so much to consider. And there's so many little pieces and parts that we didn't want to have to try to piece those together. So we ordered it and it's on its way. Hopefully this weekend into next week, our bus will be powered by the sun. You can't put a price tag on that, right? Right. I'll update you on the install. I'm a little nervous about it. We're gonna do it ourselves, but it should be fun. So a really big part of building out a schoolie, I didn't really realize this, but it's quite a chore sourcing all your parts because some parts are pretty common. Some parts you can get on Amazon Prime so that there's decent shipping on it but some you can't and a lot of them are RV parts or RV specific parts and or you can get them but the you know on on those common websites like uh, Amazon that kind of stuff but they take a long time to get to you or they're made to order or that sort of thing so today i'm at a RV supply store huge RV warehouse in Salt Lake City to source a couple parts i'm hoping to get our holding tanks here um, and a couple of roof vents that we need for like the venting of the the hot water heater that kind of stuff I just I guess I underestimated what a chore Just sourcing parts would be you know, I thought oh, yeah, it's gonna take a ton of time building it out but sourcing parts and trying to get quality stuff and working with companies that are responsible for our environment and for our economy and all of that kind of stuff it's it's difficult so i'm gonna go in take a look see what i can find so here's the vents that i believe i need for the water heater uh found a couple of fresh water tanks i think i'm going to do two fresh water tanks and what they have is 130 and 142 gallons so they'll be slightly different. These are actually plumbing vents. I don't know if they'll work for the water heater or not if heat's coming off of them. So I got our water holding tanks here and I gotta fit them in this amazing car that apparently fits everything. So here we go. So I got my uh, water holding tanks. I didn't get the gray water tank yet because I'm not quite sure what to do there. Uh, it needs some bigger fittings in it. They don't have anything that already has the fittings in it. Um, and uh, it's pretty interesting. I was, the guy was helping me get these. And I was asking him about if one of these could work as a gray water tank. And he was kind of like, ah, no, not really. What you gotta do is just take your old gray water tank out and bring it in here. And then we can measure up the holes and we can make you a gray water tank. And I said, well, <laughs> I'm converting a school bus. I uh, don't have another gray water tank. And um, I felt judged, to be honest. He, uh, he didn't like that at all. Uh, he got a, he kind of got cold on me and just, just got the tanks and, and left. 
I think these traditional RV guys and and uh, I mean I shouldn't generalize anybody, but specifically him, he seemed like an RV motorhome purist, and was a little offended that I was building my own. So there you go. So apparently this is what Friday nights are now. Yay, Shopping at Lowe's. Yay date night. I better watch where I'm going. I just yeah, almost impaled somebody. somebody. <laughs> Got this long load of metal. Uh oh. All right. I'm not helping. I gotta stop. This is date night. Katie texts while I shop. Today is a very anticipated day for me. I've been looking forward to and worrying about this day for quite a while, but today is the day we start installing the solar system, the solar power system. And uh, I'm on top of the bus, getting the solar panels up here and getting prepped. It's first thing in the morning. Sounds like we're gonna have a bit of help from friends and family today, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get working on this, get these solar panels mounted to the roof, connected and down into the bus, and then we'll start working on the inside. So when we were looking at our solar stuff and looking at these packages, we were really curious how it would all come um, because it's a ton of parts and how are we gonna keep them all straight? How are they gonna ship them? All that kind of stuff. So I wanna show you really quick how AM Solar does it. I think it's really cool. Um, but let me just flip you around here. Okay, so for all of the little components, we got these two larger size boxes. It comes with all of your parts and they're kind of separated in these bags and everything is labeled. So we have the charge controller in here. We have all the cables looking. So they've grouped everything together. Like this one is obviously roof wire harness accessories. So this is what we fasten the actual cable on the roof down with. So these, these zip ties and sticky pads, all that kind of stuff. I just thought it was really cool. I wanted to show you, we were really curious as to how everything would come. And so it's all just packaged nicely. They, I mean, they, they put padding around everything. I mean, these are already packaged switches and they put bubble wrap around it just to make sure that everything is good and gave us a bag of screws on the back. I mean, that's awesome. It's everything you could possibly need as far as we know. I haven't installed it yet, but as far as we know, it's everything we could possibly need. So pretty cool. What you doing? Hey, getting the first panel installed. Got it all wired up. Nice. Uh, we're making power. We're making our own power. <laughs> yep. Now nobody can tell us when we can have power and when we can't. Nobody. We're the masters of our own power. <laughs> Except for the sun. <laughs> the sun can tell us. All right, my friends. So it's the next day. We worked hard to get the solar panels mounted and wired up on the top of the bus yesterday. It took us pretty much all day. <laughs> some trial and error, some things that we tried that didn't work. We were actually gonna have the panels turned the other way so that they were uh, from side to side on the bus instead of front to back and had to modify the clips and all that kind of stuff. It ended up not even working. Um, took a lot of our time, but uh, it's the next morning. After we set this all up, we finished up in the dark last night and, uh, but I'm gonna show you just a couple of things, just some basic solar things. I'm not gonna go into detail. This isn't really, our channel isn't really a, like a how-to channel. It's more of a watch our adventure channel. So I'll show you some things, but if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you're working on solar or doing any of these things, I don't know what I'm doing either. I just followed the instructions that AM Solar sent us. So I'll show you our system. So our on the roof system, we basically have three panels. Each of them is 180 watts. So we have a total of 400 or 540 watts of solar on top of our on top of our bus. Obviously, you're not a, you don't ever have 100% efficiency, so you're not getting that much power into the bus. But um, pretty dang close. I mean, these panels are awesome. Very efficient panels. So basically, either side of the panel, we have these quick releases that we can unscrew um, and both unscrew both sides. And then depending on where the sun is, we can lean the panel. And we have some prop legs that I made um, and we can prop the panel up at an angle to face the sun. You get more efficiency when you face the sun. Um, 
and then underneath we just had to wire them up and uh, and then run these wires these cables so you can see here we got three of them coming into what's called the combiner box and all of the wires are wired together inside this combiner box and then that's where they drop down into the bus we drill a hole in the bus about an inch wide and it sits underneath this box so what I'm doing this morning is I'm sealing all of the holes that we had to put into the roof of the bus, right? So we've got this, which is mounted to the roof with a hole where the wire goes down into the bus. I've got to seal this baby up and all of these brackets have screws in them that I need to seal up as well. So that's what I'm working on today. Other than that, we got solar. We're powered by the sun. So I wanted to just talk really quick about um, kind of our situation with solar and electric and stuff like that and how it surprised me. Um, so just just uh, bear with me as I go through this a little bit because I, I, I really discovered something more about myself through this process, I think. So I was really scared to do the electrical and the solar. In fact, I wasn't going to. We got bids uh, from contractors to have them do it. And I really just didn't want to, what it was is I didn't want to stretch myself to learn it. Um, maybe I was a little bit scared. I wasn't smart enough to learn it or um, I didn't have enough skills to learn it and get it done. And um, it's been really cool through this process. I mean, especially yesterday. And don't get me wrong, I've had a lot of help. A ton, ton of help. So AM Solar has helped us out so much with knowledge and videos and phone calls and blah, blah, blah. My father-in-law has, has been the brains behind putting together the system and that's been awesome and um yesterday we had my brother-in-law here uh helping us and and helping me make sure i get everything connected correctly and stuff and they have a lot more knowledge in some of this stuff than i do but i just want to i mean it was just interesting to me that at the end of the day yesterday i just felt so proud of doing it and and figuring it out and and not not giving in to my worries or my or my fear that I wasn't going to be good enough to do it I wasn't be smart enough I couldn't you know figure it out whatever so so anyway I just wanted to to tell you like the the sense of pride that I have from doing it actually doing the work and and being committed to figuring it out and then I was also just so surprised at how fun it was to do something new and different and that stretches me a little bit and makes my mind work a little bit and it's been a blast it's been awesome so I guess my message or my my the point of me saying this is what is that thing for you what is that thing that you're totally scared to do or you feel like is completely out of your wheelhouse and you feel like you're too old or too dumb or not good enough to figure it out and do it figure it out just take the first step surround yourself with great people that will help you <laughs> that was the key that was the key to my success but but just do it just dive in and and have a blast doing it and be committed to the process I think that's another big thing is um, if I were just wanting to just get this done just get it done as fast as, as possible I wouldn't have been able to I wouldn't have had fun doing it but once I got committed to the process and learning and just seeing oh this is something new that I think I'm really gonna enjoy and and that I'm gonna have fun doing and then it was a blast and we had a great time yesterday putting this all together I know this all sounds really weird and cheesy uh, just talking about solar panels on the roof of a bus but man stretching yourself and being committed to the process is really cool and it's really fun so anyway here's to more things like this as we build the bus out wow thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them don't miss a single adventure or bus moment make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.